I can't really see myself. So I hope... That's new. I just shot for Fan House, so if I look a little funky, that's why. However, I actually kind of like this look a little bit, not gonna lie. I didn't put like under eyeliner, except I put white, and then I didn't put mascara on the under bottom, and then I put little freckles all over my face. I don't know, maybe, is it a fit? Is makeup considered a fit? Okay, so you remember how like I used to vlog and stuff? I haven't like vlog vlogged in a while and I had something happen to me where I was like, I kind of want to vlog this, you know? Like this, this is going to be a vlog. Thor's here. He's going to be here the whole time. That's my boob. That's my boob. That is still the boob. I get my eyebrows waxed. I don't know if that's going to come as a surprise to some people. My eyebrows don't normally look like this. Instead, they look like one really big caterpillar because I have a unibrow. And it's not one of those like really thick unibrows, you know, when you think of unibrow, it's not like that, but it does. I don't know if you guys can ever tell, but like my hair goes like in and then it comes in the middle, right? Which is like, whatever. I just pluck my eyebrows or I get it waxed. I decided to go get my eyebrows waxed yesterday. And I don't know if I've talked about my waxing stories in life, but I've had only two... You have to do that right now. Okay. I have gotten two waxing horror stories. The first time was a long time ago in Georgia. They waxed off my entire eyebrow except for little bitty pieces. Uh, here's a picture. And I had to live like that. I had my senior pictures taken with that. I had all my graduation photos taken with that. It was awful. We got a refund because the lady who normally did my eyebrows wasn't there and so blah 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 blah. She was horrified. Anyway, besides the point. That was the first one. The second horror story I've had of being waxed was at this little spot here in LA and I would go to it, you know, occasionally and it was, you know, nothing... Um, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't awful. Like I would just go to get it waxed. And then one day I went in to get my armpits waxed. This was in like 2014 or something. So I go in and I say, well, my eyebrows waxed and I want my armpits waxed. Eyebrows were fine, you know, got it done. Armpits, however, they had me sit up. They made me raise my arm and then they slathered it on and then went <laughs> like hit me, right? And it's one thing doing this to yourself, right? Because you're, you know a specific, you know how hard you were hitting. They I could not fathom why someone would do that because for one, I don't think you're supposed to slap wax on and slap on the wet, like just the whole thing was weird. So then that happened and when they pulled it out, it didn't like do right and so it didn't really pull the hair out so they had to keep doing it. Oh my god, wait, I have another bad waxing story. It's like that, but I was 12. It was the first time I ever got my eyebrows waxed. They put it on, waxed it off, but the hair was so thick that they just kept trying to wax it off and every time they tried to wax it off, my skin came off. Anyway, three, three stories. Now four, I guess, right? 12, eyebrows are gone, armpits. Yeah, this is my fourth story. I'm sorry this is taking a while to build up, but to the next story. So yesterday I was like, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. You know, I haven't done it in a while. I kind of look a little weird now. I don't want to keep plucking. Like I just want to, you know? So I go to two places here in LA. One place, the lady recognizes me and calls me Cat. Wonderful, wonderful lady. I love her, love going to her. However, she's really, really hard to get a hold of. And she always tells me to call beforehand, but then if I call, she doesn't pick up. But so I walk in, she goes, oh, cat. Oh, hi. oh, I'm sorry. Like I thought, oh, you, can you come tomorrow? And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm a hermit. Like I, I'm lucky I got out of the house today, but yeah, I can come tomorrow. And then I hate my life. Is that a Kate problem? Absolutely. But they do do walk-ins. It's just, they forget to like do the wax or I guess like turn on the wax or I guess they don't get a lot of wax people. I don't know. So I have my backup place, right? And the backup place is a little closer, which is, you know, nicer. And you can just do walk-ins and it's fine. And I've gone to them at least four times with no problem until yesterday. I booked my appointment online and I was like, okay, I'm gonna force myself to get out of the house, right? I'm gonna force myself to go. I'm gonna get stuff done. So I do, I book an appointment and then I go all the way there and I walk in. I'm like, I'm here for my appointment. I'm here a little early though. They're like, that's okay, sit down. And I was like, okay. So I sit down and I'm waiting and they're like, hey, go to the back, which was a little strange because like, where in the back? You know, I've gone here like four, four times, but I, I don't know if there's like more than one room back there. So I was like, uh, okay, so I start, walk into the back and I'm standing in the back and there's just four rooms and one room looked like an office another room the door was closed behind me and then there was a door where I've gone before but the door was closed and so I was like standing there with my bag like this here actually 
like this. And I was like, I know. And I was like, and I look over and they're like, what do you want? And I was like, oh, um, eyebrows, I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. And they're like, go in the room. I'm like, oh, but the, the door's closed. And they're like, go in the room. And I'm like, okay. So, so I go in the room and like the bed was like dirty. Like they didn't like take off like the paper. Like there was like stuff all over it. And I was like, I turned around and they're like, lay down. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't want to, you know. So I laid down and I'm like pulling my hair back or whatever. And I have my mask on, but I always kind of pull the mask down to like here because I wear a mask because I don't want to get Rona. I still haven't gotten it. And that's my superpower so far. So fingers crossed, knock on wood. Oh God. Because I don't want it. <laughs> I've lasted this long. So I'm laying there. I pulled the mask down a little bit because the eyebrow hair goes down to here, right? So I lay there and I'm just, you know, eyes closed and then eyes open, looking around, eyes closed. So she walks over with the wax, right? She, cause the wax here, she, anyway. So she scoops the wax up, looks down and he goes, close your eyes. And I was like, okay. So I close my eyes and then she just starts slathering it on my eyebrow. And the thing is with getting your eyebrows done, I don't know if y'all have ever gotten wax before. Th so the proper way, pretend my finger is the stick with the wax, okay? You just go, and then you twist it a little bit. Sometimes they've blown on it like, you know, to cool it down a little bit. You don't know what this lady did? The moment the wax hit my skin, I was like, hmm, that feels a little too liquidy and a little too hot. Okay, motorcycle gang. So it didn't feel, it didn't feel right. Maybe it was like the first dip, you know, like she's gonna like realize, no. So she, what they do, right? They do it here and then under here and then here and then here and then here. Or sometimes they do this first and then they do these and then they do, anyway. So she did here and then she did here. So when she was doing this, she, so what you're supposed to do, right? You lift the eyebrow up a little bit, just kind of scrape it underneath there. Cause you get like random hairs underneath here. And if you want to get it like, you know, cleaned up at an angle, you like lift it and you just kind of move the wax along. You know what she did? You want to know what this woman did? She pushed the wax in and was pressing my eyeball into the eye socket. So she was pushing into my eye socket with the stick, with the wax, and then with the strip, pushed it down so hard into my eye. I was like, I need to say something. Like it hurt and it wasn't comfortable. And it was, I was like, what is happening? So then she came over, did this side. And when she waxed this side, she, the super hot lava wax just, and when she pulled back, she goes, she laughed and was like, oh, your skin is so red already. You must have really sensitive skin. Do I? Do I really have sensitive skin? I, what a concept. Because my whole life, you know, you know what I've used to wash my face for almost my entire life? Water. Have I ever gotten acne? Nope. I've rubbed my face on Thor's face for his entire life. He loves rubbing faces. I have done all kinds of stuff to my face. And have I ever had a reaction? No. And it's normal for your face to get kind of red when you get waxed because, you know, you're getting waxed. But this... And so the fact that she laughed and was like, your face is getting so red, haha, you, you must be so sensitive. Ma'am, you are burning me. Like, what? How can, you, how can you wax someone and see someone have an immediate reaction being like, oh, this is her fault. It's because her skin is sensitive. Is this wax too hot? Absolutely not. It's not a me thing. It's a her thing. Anyway, so then she sticks her whole finger into my eye socket here whoosh, and then she did this but the thing is when people do this they do it in the middle and then they do this side and then they do and then they do like the bridge of the nose she just did one full sweep and was like done and then she got tweezers and like pretended to pluck some of these areas and i know i say pretended because i didn't feel any hairs come out you can feel when you tweeze hairs all i felt were tweezers touching my eyebrow she slabs on aloe vera or something over my eyebrows to like get the redness away and then just walks over to the table and goes okay you're done bye in my entire life i've always been given a mirror because if you don't like it 
then you tell them if they see if they can fix it. Like, oh, you missed this spot here. Oh, can you actually get this spot here? You know, they, they say, oh, like, how's it look? So I sat up and I was like, we're done? And she's like, yeah, there's a mirror if you want to look at it. So much better, beautiful. My whole forehead was bright red. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I got waxed bright, bright red. It was a different kind of bright red because like I always turn red after waxing, but not immediate. It's never immediate. So I go to the front desk and I was like, oh, like, you know, I go, I was gonna pay for the service in card and then I was gonna pay tip in cash. But the thing is, here's the thing. I like tipping people because I feel like if they do a good job, they should get good money. And so the procedure, the procedure to get waxed was $20. And I learned a good tip is for every $5, you tip $1. So I was gonna tip her $4, but then I was like, oh, I only have fives but he could break it for me. And I was like, should I tip her like the good amount since she did so bad? I mean, my eyebrows look good, but it's like, oh my God, I forgot the worst part of all of this. The worst part of all of this, right? I forgot about, I can't believe I didn't tell you this. This was the whole reason why I wanted to make the video. I'm so stupid. Okay, when she, I can't believe I, I'm so mad at myself. I feel like I need to refilm this whole video now. When my head, I was laying on the table, right? How do I, how do I word this? She treated me like I was a rag doll. And she moved my head. Do I have like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna use this teddy bear here. So imagine this is Kate, all right, getting her eyebrows waxed. This is how the force that she used on my head, like all you really have to do is like turn it like that and then wax and then kind of like, you know, put, put your head like slowly rotate. We've all been to the hairdresser. You know, we've all maybe have gotten our eyebrows. They, you know, tenderly turn your head and they're like, okay, thank you. This is how she turned my head, ready? I have never had my head manhandled so hard. Even by the chiropractor, they were more gentle. And chiropractors aren't even, you know? I want you to imagine me laying there like this. And then all of a sudden. Like it, I couldn't believe it. Back to the tip. I didn't want to tip her that much. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to tip her that much. Like, I have never had a more humiliating eyebrow experience. And like, I've been slapped, you know? Like, I just, I felt awful. But the thing is, I would feel even more guilty if I didn't tip her good, right? And so, I was gonna tip her $4 and ask for a dollar back with my $5 bill. So I give the guy a $5 bill, and right as I'm about to go, can I have a dollar back? He goes, okay, thank you, bye. And then turned around and went back to his own stuff. And I was like, so then I left, I went to my car and I wanted to cry. And I was like, well, I'll just treat that experience. I'll treat that tip as a goodbye. You know, they're never gonna have my service again. I'm never going back there. I'm gonna go back to the lady that calls me cat. I don't care how long it takes for me to get in contact with her to make an eyebrow appointment. Every time I go there, you know what she offers? She comes over with like 10 bottles of water and sodas and is like, do you want a drink? Do, do you want a drink? Do you, do you want a drink? You want a snack? Do you want a drink? Like for free. She, Dr. Pepper, she brought over a big can of Dr. Pepper. Not knowing I like Dr. Pepper, of course, but you know, like a bunch of sodas. And was like, you want a drink? For free. I love her. I'm never, I feel awful. I betrayed her. This is what I get for betraying her. It was awful. And I wanted to like, I needed to vent about it, you know? Like I needed to talk to somebody about it because I couldn't, I sent a voice memo to one of my best friends. I was like, dude, you'll never guess what just happened to me. It was awful. Like I have, no one's allowed to touch my head again. Like I don't, I didn't like that. It felt like in my nightmares before I got beheaded, I get, I get killed a lot in my nightmares. Um, One of them was I got beheaded. I think it was on my, uh, I did like a, dream dream diary thing a long time ago one of the dreams i ooh, i got beheaded and i felt everything i didn't like it anyway i just i don't know i just wanted to talk about it i couldn't believe it and then you know i was like man this day sucked i'm gonna treat myself so i got myself a tasty salad and starbucks and it did make me feel a little bit better but man oh and then and then you want to hear the best part so my face the redness did not go away. I took this picture before I went to bed at 3 a.m. I don't want to talk about it, but I took that picture, no makeup, nothing. And you can see the line. I have makeup on now and stuff because I took fan house photos, so. <laughs> um, but anyway, you can see the line of where I was burned. Like I literally, I got burned. 
burned and scraped and peeled and everything. Unbelievable. And I know y'all are gonna be like, oh, Kate, you, should, you shouldn't have tipped it all. You shouldn't have... I can't live with that guilt, but I will never go back, so. And then other people, I know some of you are probably like, oh, you should leave a bad Yelp review. I want to, but then they'll know it's me. So maybe in like six months, I'll leave a bad Yelp review, be like, oh, I got my eyebrows waxed and huh, boom, burned. I forgot I had lipstick on. It's probably all over my face and my teeth. If it is, don't judge me. Please. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for listening to my little weird story time vlog about how I got my face burnt off. I regret everything, and I also regret nothing. No, I do. I regret everything. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, love myself, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye!